Hi and welcome back to Podcast School. This is another AS technology and design video podcast and today we're going to look at pull-up resistors. I've said here that pull-up resistors are resistors used in the design of electronic logic circuits to ensure that inputs to logic systems, and this is the important bit, settle at expected logic levels if external devices are disconnected. Okay, so um, a picture's worth a thousand words and I think this one's no exception. Here we have a, a microcontroller or a, you, a, you might think of it as a PIC and if you, I'm sure lots of you have used PIC at GCSE level. You also notice that, that the PIC has a, an input uh, device here. In this case, it's just a switch and it's connected to pin 2. Now, this switch could be any manner of switch. It could be a, a magnetic read switch. It could be an LDR even. It could be a mercury tilt switch. It could be any form of switch that you that you desire. Okay. Uh, as well as that, we've got a 9 volt battery acting as our power supply. And that's, in fact, what VN will be then 9 volt and ground, obviously, 0. Now, question is, or I'll, I'll put this up first, I've said often we want to connect a digital input line to our microcontroller and typically this might be to monitor a state of a switch. I've said that already. Okay, so let's move on and we'll see the, the problem with this. At first glance I've said this seems fine. When the switch is closed, the pin to our microcontroller is tied to zero and that's obvious. Whenever that closes, pin two is directly connected via the copper track to ground. In contrast, and this is the problem, when the switch is open, we would want the pin to be connected to 9 volts or high to give us a good contrasting digital signal. But w have a look, this won't happen here, will it? Whenever the switch is uh, open, you can see that, that in this configuration, really there's no way that the... Uh, that the, the PIC can receive a 9 volt signal. It's impossible. It's just not set up to do that. In other words, the, the uh, pin would tend to float high. Okay, and I've said that this isn't a true input signal. It's a very weak input and can readily switch from high to low through the slightest of electrical interference. That interference could come in any form, any form of uh, electromagnetic inter interference. Okay, so maybe a mobile close by or something that would um, radiate would perhaps change or just be enough to make the pick think that it's a, a change in logic level and perhaps do something that we don't want. So this floating, this this floating of the pin of pin two isn't a good situation and something we need to address. So how should we do it then? Um, I've shown this simple solution, and what we have is a a connect a direct sorry connection between uh, nine volts or VN uh, to two, and this works great because the switch is open, and therefore we get our nine volts directly connected to pin 2 and when the switch is closed then we're directly connected to ground okay but I'm sure you've spotted it this is a, a, a big problem in that we have created a what here yeah short circuit we've got an absolute short circuit from 9 volts right down and round through this wire and down to ground. Remember, um, current always takes the path of least resistance. Imagine your electron. Why would you bother having anything to do with this pick chip whenever you could make straight back down to ground through this wire and back to our battery? It'll always choose this path over having any uh, interaction with the, with the pick chip. And I've said then, when the switch is closed, however, we'll get a short between supply and ground. Okay. So this then is the solution. Have a look. We can add a resistor in here. Okay, and this in fact is what we mean by a pull-up resistor. This resistor 10K. Okay, there it is. I've said when the switch is open, as it is in this case, the input to the microcontroller is high. Okay, because we have a direct path through from VN. There is no direct connection to the 9 volt rail, however, because the input impedance to the micro microcontroller is high. Okay, Very little of the 9 volts is dropped uh, over the pull-up resistor. In other words, what, what really that means is the input uh, resistance here, or the resistance that the current sees, if you like, if when it's flowing in or through the 10k ohm resistor, when it meets pin 2, 
it, it basically says a very, very high resistance or impedance. Okay, a very, very high impedance. Um, and therefore, little voltage is dropped between, uh, uh, sorry, little voltage is dropped across the 10K resistor. Think of this in terms of uh, the potential divider. And I think that will uh, sort of get your thinking clear. Okay, so very little of the 9 volts is dropped across the pull-up resistor. When the switch is closed, the current flows down through the resistor and through the closed switch to ground. The input pin is tied to ground and so will read low. Okay, so let's have a, uh, just a quick summary of that again. When the switch is open, there is a high input uh, impedance. Uh, or so well, let's think of it, the input impedance to the switch. When this switch is open, you can think of that as an infinite resistance, can't you? Okay. So in in um in well, what that means is if this is very very high, and as you know this from your potential divider equation, then the voltage dropped across 10k will be almost nothing, in the same um proportions as the resistance. Okay. So think of this as R1 and R2 in our potential divider equation. So this is huge. So we would expect that no voltage would be dropped across uh, the 10K ohm resistance. In other words, the voltage here would be 9. Okay, but when the switch is closed, then we have a very, very small resistance. In fact, you know that it's almost zero. So R2 is very, very small. Therefore, Nearly all of the nine ohm resist, sorry, the nine volt resist, uh, blah, the nine volt voltage, the nine volts, in fact, will be dropped across the 10k resistor. In other words, you can almost guarantee that pin two will almost be at ground. Okay, so problem solved. We have our digital signal, we have our zero volts when we need it, and we also have our nine volts when we need it, all because we have now our pull up resistor 10k. Okay, and that's that's it in a nutshell. We also have uh, pull down resistors, and that's just a variation, and I'll leave you to have a think about how that works. Okay, so remember, when you're using inputs to pick chips, you should always have um, either pull up or pull down resistors. That's it for now. I'll leave you with some uh, references. I'll also add these references to the website so you can click directly on these so you won't really have to note these, um, but they're here for completeness. Okay, until next time then, bye-bye.